Sentencing was delayed for former Port Authority and police officers who have been convicted on a slew of charges from corruption to extortion. The two former police officers, Enid Edwards and Francis Brooks, and the former Port Authority officer, Bill John Baptiste, were convicted of charges ranging from racketeering and drug trafficking to conspiratorial kidnapping in January of this year. Their sentencing date was set for April 27th, but upon the court session's start, it became clear that complications had developed. One of the case's key witnesses, a man who calls himself Troy Willocks, in his testimony for the officer's trial, may not be who he claims to be. District Court Judge Curtis Gomez stated that there is a different man, also calling himself Troy Willocks, involved in a superior court case with the same birth date and social security number as the man who testified in his courtroom. In the officer's corruption case, Willocks, who has also called himself Willock, was the witness who said he saw Edwards and Brooks remove drugs from a man. Willocks told the court that about a month before Carnival in 2008, as Willocks and five men were sitting outside Savon Bakery, PD-28 drove up with Brooks and Edwards in it. Brooks frisked the men and Brooks took a plastic bag with marijuana before leaving with Edwards. No arrests were made. Now, with this witness's identity in question, defense attorneys are asking if any part of Willock's testimony is true. Judge Gomez and the case's lead prosecutor, Assistant U.S. Attorney Kim Lindquist, say it's possible that this is the real Willock and the other has stolen his identity. Prosecution and defense were given a month to determine Willock's real identity. They'll be back in court on June 7th, where a sentencing date will be set. At federal court in St. Thomas, Charlotte Hancock, News 2.